this gorgeous little orchid. Oh my goodness. I don't know if anybody is tired of seeing my hibiki. If you're here for the first time, then that doesn't apply to you. <laughs> but thank you everybody else who's been back and clicked again. And despite having that gut feeling, oh no, here she goes with hibiki again. <laughs> I appreciate having you here. Thank you so much for another little episode of Blooms for You. And yes, I'm going to exploit hib hibiki for as long as I can, simply because, you know, sometimes the blooms are far and few in between and there's a waiting period. And as long as I have Hibiki to dedicate to all my viewers, subscribed or not subscribed, just to say thank you for clicking on the video, I'm going to just keep exploiting this orchid for all of you until a, such a time that I cannot. But in the meantime, I can spread the other blooming orchids around. So Hibiki is back. One day you'll see that with cousin It, Maxillaria variabilis. And he's gonna love that because it'll just be all about him from beginning to end. Not quite, but you know, intro and all that. But for the time being, yes, I'm exploiting Hibiki. Trust me, it is not affecting the orchid one bit. Not a single orchid was hurt in this process. It's just that long time viewers might be a little bit like yawn by now. Anyway, I still do appreciate the fact that you're here and Hibiki still blooms for you. Gives me still much joy. And let's go and see now though, what has bloomed or is still in bloom dedicated to individual subscribers. Very, very excited to be able to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous little bloom from Dendrobium exile or exile as you wish. And it's been a long time, but uh, Super Mariella 78 I would like to give you my one little Dendrobium exile bloom. She might be really small, but look at how cute. But this little bloom packs a punch when it comes to fragrance. So Super Mariella, I hope that you are doing well in your part of the world. And I want you to enjoy this gorgeous little orchid I hope I can do it justice because I'm very pleased to have gotten this one to bloom again. This is uh, obviously the one that has been on the Michael Mount. If I can get back a little bit without losing too much of the focus there. So that is Dendrobium exile on the Michael Mount. It has been through a lot this year, into a pot, out of a pot, but now it's starting to grow quite nicely finding its mojo and I'm going to keep it exactly the way it is right now in order for it to grow and get a little bit more substantial than what it is now. But I got one bloom. Last year I had a bloom, but I wouldn't ever, ever take credit for that because the orchid was in kind of a state of growth when it came from the nursery. But I'm super pleased to at least have achieved one tiny little bloom Sorry about that, she is really small. And look how cup shaped she is. It's like a little pixie or like a little troll hat upside down. But her markings in there are impressive. There's really a lot of detail going on in there. And her fragrance, wow, one little bloom. She packs a punch and I can say that it's one of the most fanciest talcum powder that you can imagine from some very well established lady. And if you go to her powder room, it's got this heady, sweet, a little bit overbearing if you consider it on a human being smell. But for a small bloom like this, it is a super, super elegant smell. I apologize about the wind today. I've been trying to find the right location to film her. I think we managed. Super Mariela, thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank you for your support. I hope that you like my little Dendrobium exile. 
I'm so pleased with her. I just love that cute, cute bloom. One day we may get more, but for now, this one blooms for you, Super Mariella. Merci beaucoup. From one fragrant orchid to the next fragrant orchid, different fragrance, different intensity, but nonetheless pleasant. I must say, this is my second spike of my Neostylus Lucneri. That's a first for me. I haven't ever had two spikes in one season. And it's another very pretty one, very substantial one. And this one is for you, Diana Nunez. I have not been able to find a comment of yours, so I'm not sure if you've just subscribed and never commented, but I want to say thank you very, very much. Either way, your name has come up, and I want to appreciate that and give you my second spike of loose Neary. And let's have a see how many blooms we have. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, cross-eyed, 14. I don't know. I'm just terrible at counting blooms, but I know there's more than 14 and we have some more to open and they are just so pretty. I hope that you can see how beautifully stacked they are now. Very, very beautiful. I still have a few more to open, but I do prefer to show spikes that still have some buds on the spike because it makes the rest of the blooms a little bit fresher. So I have a gorgeous fragrance from the Exili. I have in my blooming alley the gorgeous fragrance of this Lucneri. And if this is not as lemony as I remember it. I thought it was more lemony, but it could be season dependent. This one has now gotten a little bit more of a perfume to it, a very fresh summer perfume with very floral hints. Very pleasant, let me say. So if you want to say there is a bit of citrus in there, it could be. I can't detect it the way it was the last time it bloomed. But needless to say, it is absolutely, for me, a beautiful surprise to get two spikes in one season. So Diana Nunez, this one's for you. I don't know if the name also reflects the fact you speak Spanish. I don't know. I hope that when you see this video, if you see it, that you will let me know. But I would like to say muchísimas gracias por su apoyo. Es un honor y es un placer. I appreciate having you here. I just wanted to show the plant as well before I forget, because I do bamboo Babylon and sometimes incoherently. So thank you for that as well, that everybody's so patient. But I'm getting new fans on my Neo Stylus as well. So that's two new fans growing this season. So she's been a busy, busy orchid. Maybe in a year's time, we will have double spikes from another mature fan. I don't know, or maybe in two years. But I am so far loving how she's holding out. I struggle with anything that has stylus in the name just because of how hot, humid, they need their environment. I can provide hot, but I cannot provide humidity. So very, very pleased to have this one do so well. Thank you very much, Diana Nunez. I hope that wherever you are, you are doing well. I appreciate your support very much. Neo Stylus, Lou Sneary, second spike of my season, blooms for you. Not too shabby, huh? Seven centimeter lip. This is Brassolalia cattleya. Tunya, good life, number one. Valerie Melanson. This is my first blooming that I would like to dedicate to you to say thank you very much for your continued support on my channel despite all the hiccups in the early days, despite all the hiccups that I still have to this day. And yet you're always so kind and supportive and even encouraged me with some ideas for my Teespring store. So thank you so very, very much. Now, the orchid itself is enormous. As you can see, the blooms are quite large. That lip just taking over everything and then, boop, that nose. 
and I have three of them. However, when it comes to first time blooming, there's always a little bit of something funky going on, right? So she has been open a week now. And open, I mean, this is all I'm going to get this year, I think, simply because it is her first bloom and she just, you know, is trying to find her mojo. But I think for a first time bloomer to get three blooms to do what she's doing right now is absolutely amazing. And I'm hoping that you really, really like her, Valerie. Not everybody is a floofy cat leah person. I am and I am not. Uh, I'm not when they're not blooming, but when they bloom, I'm convinced that I am. <laughs> so, Chunya, good life number one. A little bit of history about this orchid. I bought her specifically because of the name, because there's a favorite vacation of mine of all time when my children and myself went to Disney and New Year's was spent at Universal Studios. And the only rule throughout this three week vacation was that the word no was not an option. It was a blast. We had a great time. Best vacation in my opinion ever. And um, yeah, so Junya, good life. The name is the reason why this orchid is in my collection. And of course, with blooms like this, it's not that difficult to put her in the basket. Finally, finally, I have some blooms. They are gorgeous. They are not fragrant, unless you consider a plastic. Like if you go to Joanne's or Michael's or something like that, and you see these plastic decorative blooms on display, that is the fragrance. So I wouldn't exactly say that is a fragrance. It's kind of nasty. It's not advised to touch the lip because it would ruin the whole structure, the whole velvety appearance of the lip. So this is one purely just to look at. And if there's any dust, better take a paintbrush to brush that off because it will destroy any of the texture inside. Still, I think she is amazing. I am so glad she made an appearance this year. And I'm so happy to be able to give this to you, Valerie as a very, very massive thank you for everything you have had to endure on my channel and are still enduring, and yet you're still here. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Bealara, Peggy Ruth Carpenter. Do I have the morning joy? I think, uh, yep, I have the morning joy. So KM Zoo or KMZOO, I owe you a spike after a long time. I have had this orchid marked for you for a while. And unfortunately, I lost the first spike. It just sort of shriveled up and died and it was almost about to bloom. Well, we had one session of very very hot wind so yeah I'm way behind but finally now I have a spike to show for and to be able to give it to you and say thank you thank you thank you it was so good to see you on Garden Answer there the channel I watch a lot Garden Answer with Laura and Aaron and it was so sweet of you to reply to that comment thank you so much that that was fun but good to see you on my channel as well. I really appreciate it. And I have just one thing to say about this orchid, and that is, it makes me want to have a pepper steak. <laughs> it is just a gorgeous fragrance. I'm, I've heard other people are not too pleased about this fragrance. Personally, I love the pepper fragrance that a Bellara exudes, and I, I do really really love this orchid it is amazing and we're going to see quite a lot of her in the coming weeks because i have 10 spikes on the go now and now that i don't have any hot wind to contend with i think we're going to get the 10 spikes to bloom but my bealara peggy ruth carpenter morning joy is for you 
K-M-Z-O-O, -O, or as I look at your name, I read K-M Zoo. I hope that your part of the world is hanging in there, that you're hanging in there, that things aren't out of control in any way, shape or form, and that life is just going beautifully for you at this point in time. Really, really appreciate having you on my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and for watching. Pepper steak, anyone? If you like a peppery fragrance that hits the nose just at the right level of spice, then I can only say that this gorgeous, gorgeous orchid is something that you might want to consider in your collection. Let me get back a bit. You can see she's quite a big orchid now. Probably next year we can do with a division. I don't know, we shall see. But to get 10 spikes this year is pretty amazing. So we'll be seeing a lot of her again in the coming weeks. KM Zoo, I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Take care and stay safe. Thank you, thank you for everything. Dum de dum de dum de dum. Hi, it's me. No, not me. And this is not it's me either. This is Catlia Dinard, Blue Heaven. Lelio Catlia Dinard, Blue Heaven. And I thought I would show you how it managed to come out of the sheath all of its own, which is fabulous. But it's me. Again, not me. It's me, you, the viewer. Thank you. This one is for you. This Lelio Catlia Dinard, Blue Heaven, the name I always get mixed up, thinking it's Blue Dinard. Anyway, gorgeous. Gorgeous bloom. We had one little mishap with the sepal here. And I'm not sure how that came about. Maybe me messing with the bud. Because initially I thought, why are you growing towards the leaf when I had the light coming from this direction? Because I wanted the, the bloom to open into this side here where it had plenty of space. No. We're going in the opposite direction. And... Then I thought, well, it's never going to amount to anything while it's stuck up against this leaf, which was kind of concerning. And I thought, well, again, first time bloomer for me, maybe it doesn't have the strength and a funky bud is all we're going to get. But no, when I went and fiddled, I saw there was already a crack in the bud. It's possible that a wasp got in there for the happy sap. And eventually she opened and it's been now a week and I thought I would never get a blue hue. It was a very, very chartreuse green on the petals and the sepals. Very chartreuse. I thought, okay, we'll get the blue or the purple mauve onto, on the lip. But she has turned lavender. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the different shaped petals. They're almost like, pardon me for saying, pig's ears <laughs> sticking out. Just the size, comparison to the sepals in the back. I think it's a, a very unique structure of bloom and I thoroughly, thoroughly am enjoying this. It's me. This one is for you. Or should I say, it's me. This, it's for you. No, anyway, lovely throat. Thank you very much, It's Me, for subscribing to my channel so quickly, for watching my videos, as always. And with everyone that watches my videos, I do really appreciate it. But I would like to express my appreciation in individual blooms as they do come out. So It's Me, my Lelio Catlia Dinard, Blue Heaven, first time blooming. She's all yours. And when it comes to the fragrance, I am detecting cinnamon, but old cinnamon. 
and it's not very obvious. You really have to stick your nose in. I wonder if by the next blooming, I will get a little bit more fragrance out of her, but it, it's there, but I consider it like old cinnamon, not fresh that you just have ground up yourself, but it's sort of been stuck on the shelf for a while. So something like that. If anybody else who does see this video has a different experience with the fragrance of the Dinard Blue Heaven, I'd be very interested because I honestly don't know anybody else that grows this orchid and I would like to compare notes. I love it. I love, I love those colors. And I'm so glad she did turn a little lavender just recently. So a week old bloom. It's me. Thank you ever so much. Very much appreciate it. And I sincerely hope that you're doing well. Right. Well, this was a different one with all the big Cattleyas now starting to come onto their own. They have done all their growing and now it seems like it's the battle of the big lips. Who's going to outshine and out fragrance the other? For me, clearly at this point, it's the Cattleya Dinard Blue Heaven because the Chunye smells a little bit too much like a fake plastic bloom. But we shall see what else the rest of the collection has to offer in the near future. And there is hope for everybody who is a little bit tired of Hibiki. Twinkle will take over at some stage and be exploited. We have enormous amount of spikes on my Twinkle Red Fantasy. So <laughs> there's hope. Stick with me and not every series from here on in is about Hibiki as an intro and outro. But as we've got her, thank you everybody so, so much. I focused the camera on this beautiful spectacle, maybe for the last time, but I doubt it. Appreciate your patience with me as I try to compile this little series and keep it going. I appreciate you watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.